Yes, are yeah. you able to get uh, this one shadow? Yes, I am able to see shadow. Okay, so oh, look at here. This is our uh, this one. Okay, screen. Try. I will try it like this. Okay, now you can see the. Are you able to see the shadow? Ah uh, yes. When I show it, like uh, Rishi, yes. uh, when I show it, uh, like I am, I in a in a screen, I can see the very bright one. But when I look at it, like in a Practically, there's a shadows are there, right? But I don't know, like, what are you like you are able to see that or not? Okay, you can also look at the, this uh, this Abhishit one. Yes, Abhishit is that uh, opaque material? Oh uh, yes. Okay, so you can see. Yes, so you can see the shadow, right? You can see the eye shadow. So right now he's using. Is that opaque material or what? Uh, it's opaque okay, it's opaque material. Okay, that's it. Okay, now come come back page number one hundred seventy three. So why there's it, uh, you can see that in transparent there's no shadow formation in translucent there's no shadow formation, right? But in opaque material we can see that they will form a shadow. Now why only opaque material form a shadow? Okay, now blow. So when you are blowing, you can see there is a vibration, and also you can see. Look at it right now; it's a flat, right? So this one is flat. When you blow it, it comes out, right? It comes out, and also you can see the vibration. Look at it. You can hold it like this. You can hold it like this, right? Okay. So observe this one. So while you are blowing, observe this part. Okay. You can see the vibration, and also you can see that this diaphragm comes out, right? It pops out. Are you able to see that? Yeah. And Jorita, are you able to see this vibration? It's not happening. Okay, so look at here. So for me, I think uh, it's working. <coughs> The thermocol ball is a very light, right? So we can easily uh, like uh, uh, like they can easily bounce up. But salt, salt, you can also see that salt can also bounce up with the, this vibration, right? Yes. That is all because of this vibration. So both of you do the activity and observe it carefully, and then write down the observation and then the, this one conclusion. Okay? Yes. Uh... Mm -hmm. Being we know there's we have vocal cords, right? So in yeah. this vocal cords, how that is working? So we did in previous class. So you can see while we are like, <clears throat> okay, while we are breathing, so air comes out from the lungs, right? Lungs to the wind pipe and then wind pipe to the vocal cords. Okay. In here in the vocal cords, you can see there's a two vocal folds is there, right? So you right now you are going to assume that these two are the vocal folds. Okay, oh, you cut this into the V shape, right? So here you yeah. can see the two thin slit one, right? So this is the vocal cord. So in the vocal cord, these two vocal folds, okay, vocal folds are vibrating. Okay, so that's why sound is produced. Now similarly, while you are blowing at this cut outside, you can hear the sound. That is because these two folds are vibrating to each other. Okay, so that's why you can hear the sound. Go. Oh. And the activity is to uh, uh, push this and see how far it will go. And I don't know if uh, it will happen or not. I'm scared. Mm. Yeah, it will pop out. It will pop out. Okay, don't do it right now. Okay, what about the other syringe? The other syringe, like this one? Yes, which I use with the liquid. Yeah, that one is for tilting the. That one is for tilting the board where uh, the shooting or the cylinder, what do we say, where the syringe is there, which is okay. to be shot. Look at here, look at here. So there are two pressures are there. Here, this is the combinations of the two pressure, right? One is the liquid pressure yeah. or water pressure, another one is the atmospheric pressure. Okay. So in this liquid, here you can uh, you fill the syringe uh, water in one syringe and there is no water in the other syringe, right? 
Mm-hmm. So, when you push the syringe, what happens? Like waters are going right. Waters are going towards the yeah. syringe. Okay. So that means mm-hmm. water is not com- like the water is non-compressible. There are two compressible earlier. One is compressible, another one is non-compressible. So this means water is non-compressible. If if you are able to compress the water, then water will not uh, like exert that way. Water will not flow immediately, right? So okay, yes, folks. Uh, okay, okay. So honey, first focus, focus at here, okay? So water is a compressible. Okay, Jolita. Now, what do you think? What do you have to do after that? Maybe just press the pipe and then syringe. Yes, that's great. You need to press the syringe, right? As you press the syringe, you need to look at this side. You can see the height of this rubber band increase, right? Okay. Yeah. So same thing. If you <clears throat> take it out, then again it will come down, right? So that is the pressure of air. Yeah, right. Because inside that syringe, there is no water at all. That means this is the pressure of syringe. Now, with pressure of syringe, you can uh, you can lift this plate, right? You can this lift. Uh, you can uh, you are able to lift this plate by yes. stretching the rubber band. Now, all the stretching rubber band and lifting this plate is because of the air pressure. Yes. 